and we are back for the 11th episode of the Underground Podcast with your host, Inzingi. And I just want to say one, one thing before we start the thing. If you own or have an Android phone, as your smartphone, I think I think the question is really, you, you should be really considering your life choices and where that's going to take you. I truly believe that if you have an Android, you are an Android. Like, what's fucking good? Like, you must be a robot to have to use that piece of shit. You know, I, I, don't, I don't care if it's Samsung, OnePlus, Hawaii, Hawaii, uh, uh, they're, they're trash. All right? And it's not sponsored this shit to Apple, but iPhone is the only way to go. And I'm not brainwashed for anyone asking. Um, let's m- move swiftly on from that. That was a very weird start. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm back from a holiday. I know I've said this before, but... All the videos I've been posting, I haven't actually been on holiday. It's been a week behind, so I've actually been hol- home all week. But I've just been editing and posting out the content. Um, back from holiday, obviously you saw the vlog. I spent a week in Barcelona, and I hope you enjoyed that. There's six episodes, so go back and what- binge watch all of them, all the episodes, because I'm quite happy with them. Obviously, there's parts of it I do wish I vlogged more of my experience and done more for you. But you know, I actually wanted to have a bit of a break as well. But you know, your boy was still out there grinding. We managed to also f- film and shoot in somebody's place, which they somehow let us a shout out to them. Um, it's like a crystal place uh, and a furniture place. They made us free, film a freestyle there, which I don't know when, when it's going to come out. I'm going to be honest with you, because oh, I need to go in the studio and remaster that shit. <laughs> Let's just say that. But yeah, actually, in fact, talking about binge watching, just you might as well just go back and binge watch all my content. You know what I mean? Like, like why not? Like, like, you should be asking yourself that question. Do you watch enough in Zingy in a day? And if the answer is no, then what's, fu- what's good, quite quite frankly? Oh, I know I'm waffling here. Another thing I want to say as well, plot's still going well. Have been watering, I've been looking after it, so just don't worry, right? I'm a, I'm, I'm a man of people, but I'm also a man of nature. I'm not really, I've had one plant, and I think I'm David Ambro. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you look at my is- Instagram recently, and I'm not talking about my Nzingi Instagram, because a lot, of, I'm don't, a lot of people don't know this, actually. That's the you people watching my videos now, my fans. Fans, huh? ironic. <laughs> I only got a thousand subs, but I have my Zingy Instagram that is more. It's just primarily YouTube and influencer business, all that. And then I have my personal one, which just just my friends and just that stuff. My personal one's got more than my Zingy one. It was fucking good. Let's boost up the Zingy one. So in the description, but also if you go into my main account, Josh underscore Zingy one. If you don't, if you want to know what Zingy is as well, last name is Sing Josh Sing, and then. Like people at school, and all my life just people be calling me singing. Like I, I don't know, it's a weird thing. I don't know, no one really says it anymore actually, but people used to call me that. But my posts recently have been, I wish I had a light here or something, but I have been fire. I like, honestly have have been fire. Like just look at the posts from holiday, from when I bought something that they're good. Also, I've realised right in, in the LED display that this I've got a new ambiance light. You know, it's look, it's look, it makes it more of a calm warm vibe it's like here we decided to add it into the podcast room which uh, if a lot of pe- you people don't know this podcast whole setup is literally in my kitchen like i'm looking out here i can see a tap i can see a washing machine i can see a fork you know <laughs> and what i was in there in the kitchen i don't know why i'm ch- chatting on now the big topic the main clickbait well it's not really clickbait actually because it's just about a big subject subject the Challenger Games, presented by the one and only, your boy, Logan Paul. Um, wait, first of all, why is this playing? I didn't even realise I had AirPods. I'm shouting, Jesus Christ, I'm shouting. I don't know why I had my AirPods in. <laughs> it's just it's so light, just easily. Um, but the Challenger Games was yesterday, last night, in fact. I actually watched it a bit late, but obviously it was, li- it was live then, but you could s- skip it back. That's how YouTube works. Uh, I'm impressed with the event. I was like, very happy that it was for a good cause as well, because a lot of people just put events on and profit on them, like a lot of YouTube out there, but they decided to give it to Special Olympics and loads of other corporations and um, non-profitable, non, non-profitable, let me speak properly, charities, so that was very good of him. And and it was for, if people don't know what you're talking about, by the way, spoilers here, so don't get mad at me, I'm saying spoilers here, I'm going to say what happened, but it was 400 grand, and Logan Paul claimed he was the fastest YouTuber on the planet, over 103, I think, or probably more than that, uh, entertainers, biggest entertainers in the world, including King Batch, Bradley Martin, Rice Gump, which actually was good, Rice Gump, he didn't even turn up, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, everyone, Tobe Chisel, but 
Who won the hundred meter? Everyone, everyone's probably well. You, you know now because you stuck around. I hope you haven't. If, if you have, if you don't want to know, yeah, or you haven't seen it, then just just don't skip this or just don't watch this. All right, or play it but turn the sound down and go watch Logan's video first. Uh, his live stream is three hours long. Um, but yeah, he obviously Logan pulled his hamstring, but the winner was D Destroyer or D Destroyer destroying. I'm not, I'm not really sure I'd say his name. But that guy is quick as fuck. I think it's 10.8 seconds, 100 meter dash. Like, is it? I'm not sure what you say in bolts is, but it's not far, it's not that far off. I've got to say, that is impressive for just a YouTuber or just a, you know, an entertainer. But that was an amazing event, I've got to say. The camera angles, the, the professionalness of it. There was a couple, of, uh, I mean, not a couple, there was a lot of awkward and just cringe moments in there. But that's what you get from live sort of things because obviously on live you want to be as family friendly as possible especially with charity as well don't get me wrong I, I'm, I probably would have done the same you can't really make it into a shit show when it's uh, for charity uh, but yeah Ryscon wasn't there there was just a lot of they had a thing called I'm, I'm just going to say it now because it, it pissed me off it's called like talking smack or talking trash or something and it was cringe as hell they were like forced to make it like staring into a camera like it's the office or some shit but uh, yeah <gasps> I just realised something I have not talked about. I have not talked about yet. I'm going a bit faster, so I can have a sip. <sighs> Damn, that's good with, with a logo on it as well. well. You've obviously seen that before, but we've we've had a loss, and you've obviously seen the video, uh, one of my vlogs on holiday. We've had a loss in Inzingi Nation and uh, in the family of ours that we have, and you probably notice it now by this hat that's wearing on my head because what is my hair recently like I need, I need a trim I need a cut I need a I need a taper fade all right I need a heavy fade or something skin fade because the black hat the beautiful black hat and obviously I've done a montage and I tribute to it on my channel so go watch that video it's actually funny uh, but the black hat it's you know one I always wore I literally every day just wore it constantly even in videos you saw how much people were telling me to not wear it but now I have this old one this red one and it kind of works well, you know, I mean, I'm looking alright, but you know, we sadly lost the black cap. I'm not sure if you give any shits about it at all. So, should I even be talking to you about this? I don't know. Another thing is as well, Jallo. You, you, a lot of you people may be familiar with Jallo. Um, also known as, I should don't know what is that. Is his name Jallo? Is his name Jallo? Someone comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Um, or Little Jallo on Instagram, so follow him as well. Because I'm, I met him obviously from Deji's diss track, that's what most people know him from, the YouTuber, but he's a rapper, he's a UK artist, he's in Deji's like no L's thing, but apart from that, like he's actually an artist, he's made songs, and he was featured on Grime Daily, they put him on in, on their premiere thing the other day on GIM Daily's channel, which is if, for the American viewers or any other viewers around the world, it's basically like a hip hop uh, YouTube channel where they promote loads of music, uh, like anyone can go on there, but I think they've chose him to put on there because he's got clout, a little bit of clout. He got like 30,000 followers, and I met him when I went to KSI's and Randolph's New Age tour actually. So I'm outside, he, was, he, he had no security, he was just walking around, he was chill man. He's, just, he's a kid, he's, he think he's my age, I think he's 17 or 18, he thinks he's 18 actually. Oh, maybe he's older, no, he's 18. But me and him were just chatting for like 5 minutes, he's, he's a sound guy honestly, got a picture of him. Um, and then, I think I posted, no, when is, okay, so Tokyo Drift came out, that's a song. Uh, and I also leave a link in the description as well, somewhere, go find it, listen to that song, because it's a banger, honestly, for a UK rap, Americans out there won't like it, but for UK rap, and it's featuring another guy called Young Dave, I want to say, something like that, I don't know, but good song, Tokyo Drift, and good chorus and hook, and both verse, for two or three verses, and then I put it on my Instagram, picture of him, and also the second picture on Instagram, as you know, you can put two pictures, you should fucking know, social media genius right here, no, but... And then he liked my picture, I was like, shit, because I tagged him in, I was like, oh, that's actually sick, he's got 30,000 followers. Then he, then I put on my story, I thought, I, I thought, oh, I was going to DM him and I thought, nah, I didn't have the balls to. Sometimes I don't DM people if I don't have the balls to, because I just feel like they're going to, they're going to ghost me, and it's going to hit me back in the future, you know. It's going to hit me back. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't DM, I put on my story, like, go listen to uh, Tokyo Drift Now by Lil Jala, I mentioned him, and I said, um, you know, I said, oh, this is another banger, bro. And then he DM'd me. Uh, he just popped up uh, and he just said, um, so he put, actually, I'm going to put a screenshot here now. He put yo, he, said, he put my G or something. And then, yeah, I, and I sent him a message. I'm not sure if he's read it or not, if you're watching this. 
please read it. I, want, I do want to collab with him because he's a sound guy, but he makes some decent music, I reckon. He's a, he's a chill guy and he's got a lot of potential as like a YouTube personality and also, you know, upcoming artist in the UK. But yeah, I was, I was proud of that. I got the mention and as soon as he put me on his story, I started getting a lot of follow. Not a lot, I was getting, getting quite a few, fair few followers and... Uh, yeah, a lot of people, I think that's like 300 now, a lot of people liked my post with Jello actually. Because I don't normally get that many. I normally get like a couple, 150 to 200 uh, likes, but I got like, I think I was near 400 now on the one with Jello. So shout out to Jello, link in the description for Tokyo Drift. Also, talking about music as well, I'm going off, off on a completely weird tangent here. My music, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I know people want to hear, or do you? I'm not sure. Comment down below or something. Uh, but there's there's been a bit there's been a bit of a kerfuffle or a bit, a bit, a bit, some issues all right that needs to be raised but I'm not going to talk about it on here because I want it to be I'm going to make a full separate video on it about my album coming up uh, because it's just a few problems we're having all right so it might not be as soon as I say it would uh, well anyway forget that that'll be another video and last of all the last topic I want to talk about is Jake. And Hannah Mojo, Jana, whatever this is, it's, it's cringe, alright, it's all for camera, I think, but anyway, it's gonna be some sort of vlog, but it could be real, you never know, they're crazy, these LA people, you know, they're, they're nuts, um, but it's, they're having a marriage today, actually, while this has come out, I'm not sure when it's gonna be uploaded or whatever, but I just don't know what to think about it, like, what is YouTube nowadays, getting, get, doing fake marriages? I was good. I mean, to be fair, TGF was, was going to do that, and I think they still are doing that, but it, it's just it's just nuts. Like, how can you marry someone that you've been, that you've, not, well, you've been girlfriends for, you've, you've been, sorry, in a relationship for, for about, I think it was like two, probably about a, a two months, I'd say, since they made their first video, and they actually, whatever, I don't know what the fuck it was. Don't really watch him that much nowadays, but more watch Logan because I'm more of a fan of him. He's more just the intellectual one, and he's more wise. And just his podcast is so mature. It's a bit like Joe Rogan's in that way, that it gives you some value to your life, not just like, oh, it's just funny entertainment. Like They have scientists on there, they have philosophers, they have all types of people. That's why I always say, this is not, quite frankly, if I'm being completely honest with myself and you people, it's not the number one podcast in the world, because that is impulsive by Logan, uh, Spence, Phil the Spencer, and Hey Big Mike, yeah, but we are the second best podcast in the world, in the galaxy, universe, planet of black holes, alright, infinite, we just are factually second, we'll, we'll always be second, we might creep up to the top, but for now, we're second, and we're not, we're staying there, we're, we're a second, first and worst, it's, wait, first and worst, second the best, they say, don't they, I'm not sure, that's all we got for today, if you did enjoy this type of content, hit that like button. I want to make more of these um, podcasts. Obviously, it's out every Sunday now. It's literally a scheduled thing I do all the time now. I'm filming this on a Sunday, which is weird, because normally I film on a Saturday and release on a Sunday. But I've been rushing about. I've been doing loads of things. But I want to make these longer. If you want to be a guest on here, a co-host for uh, Impulsive, and oh my God, I've said Impulsive, of the Underground Podcast. I'm, oh, this is a shit show now. If you want to be <coughs> just a one-time guest and talk about some topics, anything, media, news politics social media videos i don't know anything you want literally food like tea even i'm on Mars. i would like to get if a tea connoisseur came on in that would be cool um but do that because i want to have that long form content like half an hour to an hour or maybe more a couple of hours chat about a few things but you know we've got no sponsors yet which is good i assume well no i'll be honest it's not good it's really not good we need sponsors anyone out there sponsor me all right we need sponsors we need people I'm gonna get Mike. I'm gonna, once we get people, because the people are asking us, or probably thinking as well, why not have mics and stuff to make it more professional? I could could do, but there's no need for it. You know, I want, I would like it, but there's no need for it until we get actual guests on here and co-hosts that will stay on here. Uh, then we'll get that. But for now, this is all good. Thank you for watching. You've been ma you've been amazing listening to me. If you if you come here, just leave it. Comment down below if you've watched the whole of this video. I'd be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> like I love every single one of you, honestly. Though if you stuck around, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, uh, like the video, turn on the post notification bell to get notified every Sunday I upload, and also just every day in general because I'm a, I'm a beast like that. I'm not quite Mr. Beast yet, but I'm a beast. I upload every day. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Now your vids hold no weight Like Titanic channel sinking to the ground Talking your piece on the web Karma always come around Eating up these W's Can't you see I have the crown Feasting on you enemies Dead and buried in the ground Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate, all this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown